Welcome to the battery episode, guys. 230 amp hour lithium battery replacing the 100 amp hour deep cycle nugget. Going in the caravan. 230 amp hour to run our air conditioner. Off grid, hopefully. See how we go. We've got um, a three or 4,000 watt inverter as well getting installed. But today's episode's all about doing the battery. Now I'll unpack that in a sec. If you come down the front, let's get down the front. This is the old battery. This is the battery box. Lives in here. It's the most neatest, beautifulest little battery box. It's got a little thing. Someone's built all this to suit this little battery. So for me to, I've made sure that the new battery, the width is gonna fit in this box, but the depth issue is, um, we're gonna have to grab the grinder out, just cut a hole in the back of this so the battery can, I don't know, come in here. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not the greatest at doing this. I wanted to get a battery that was the same size but they're all about 140 amp hour and I'm like, oh, I really want to get one that runs the aircon for a couple of hours. And I know that will do it. So we're, let's go, let's get this thing happening. Don't worry about all this mess in front of the house right now. We're renovating the caravan. You guys will know this, right? So we're doing a big caravan renovation right now. Having a lot of fun, a lot of painting. Let's open this up. I'll cut across the battery terminal. <laughs> A very nice folder with all the uh, information about the battery. That's very cool. Okay, a couple of bolts for the uh, posts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I've got a couple of rope handles. That's helpful. Look at that. Let's go and install this in the box. Hope you guys are going to love this. I don't understand. Danica, Danica's doing. We're just doing a photo session, right? So I was doing all these photos. So I got all this cool stuff on. I want to do a photo for uh, Lee time. I'm hoping that they'll put me on their website. You know, they'll be famous. Yeah, I want to get onto a battery person's website, bruv. Yeah. Anyway, they give me all these gloves and all these arm protections and stuff. And it's finally the sun is out. So it's very hot. But Danica made me lift it a hundred times. The photos are amazing. She said that was my gym session. She, tri she tricked me into doing a gym session just then. I uh, take all this safety protection off, guys. I love it. I appreciate it. But as a professional mechanic, you need to make sure you're not too hot. Oh, you take it off. It's like a strip session. Oh my god. You look how sweaty you are. <laughs> it's hot, man. <laughs> I have too much gear on. Let's put that hat on backwards. This is what it look like working on it. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's install it. Alright, first things first. I'm the realist. Gangster. We have to remove this old battery. So. It's a good battery. I'm gonna probably throw this in my work van to keep it because there's nothing actually wrong with the battery. Someone's put a lot of effort into making this awesome battery tray for it too. So good on them. I'm here to wreck it. Sorry guys. Now you got every spanner you can just so you don't get it wrong. That's how professional I am. I reckon it's a, fifth, uh, I reckon it's a 13. All right, let's take some battery terminals off. Okay, old battery out. Ugh. Put that to the side. Oh, mate. So, what am I going to do here? Maybe just bend that bracket down. I still want to use this bucket. Bend that down. I'm going to have to cut all that out. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to make this look so ugly. Please, no judgment. This is going to be great. There we go. Bend that back wall back. Battery can sit on top of that. The 100 amp hour deep cycle I just took out is lighter than the 230 amp hour lithium I'm putting in. So the tray will be able to handle it all good. And it fits. And it's going to be about that much too long. Alright, so that's what I'm going to go and cut the back wall out. I'm not going to show you that. You can just appreciate the fact that I've done it, okay? Because I'm not very good on the grinder. It's going to be messy. See so how we go. I just removed the old solar controller because I've got, I don't know, it's a little bit old. Does it have a date on it? Nah. Anyway, the old solar controller might be good in the in the work van, um, but I've got a new one that's going in this from another company. Oh, my grinder just ran out of battery, so I'm waiting for the old Azito grinder to battery to charge back up so I can keep uh, ripping the back of this thing apart. You wanna check it out? Check out my handyman work so far. Inside here. There we go. Straight line, straight line, halfway up. Ran out of battery. That's what you get, mate. Look at that quality grinder. Oh, good. Nearly there. There we go. I've cut this up. The battery now fits. Fits back in the little slider. Clips in and everything. 
beautiful, just like I bought one, yeah? So I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna make a little bit of wood frame back here to hold this in place so nothing can push against the battery. I've just been on break. I went inside, I did a bunch of painting, got all my hair done. That's not a break. I know, I need to go back to the battery for the Danica. I'm getting just very distracted. It's been like a two hour distraction. Best thing about it is my, my Azito battery was able to charge up. Anyway, let's go back to the lead time battery. Hey guys, WBTO5, WBTO5, 5% 5 off if you want to buy one. Easter's coming up, you know, get your husbands a, uh, get him a present, a gift for the caravan, a new battery so you can run your aircon. Look at this ugly thing, what am I going to do here? Firing going everywhere, we'll sort that out in a sec, I'm going to get everything attached to the battery. That was a nice easy install to be honest. Obviously you had to cut this. That that's is what it is, you know. I'm, I'm not too fussed about this. Nobody really goes in this area except for me. It's got a couple of sharp edges. I'm just gonna, you know, grind those down a little bit, make them pretty, put a bit of um, rubber over them or whatever. But I've just put a bit of wood in there. There's the back of the battery, nice and safe from everything I'm gonna put in here. And there we have it. How good is this little slide beam? What a legendary thing someone's built. There you go. Beautiful. They even got a strap on it. Wonderful. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. There we go. Wire it up. It's working. Pop that away in there, nice and gently. It's even got some little caps that go over the terminals. It comes with it. Locked in. New battery. Nice and secure. Boom. Battery's in. Mate, there she is. Battery's installed. Now, I'm going to do a bunch more videos about this battery, about the rest of the battery management system that I'm fitting. Um, the battery management system I've got all from Vic Off Road. I'm trialing out a new battery, the price was right, um, and the free shipping and all that kind of stuff anyway. And I'm going to do a little affiliate program with these guys, give it a crack, get a bit of a discount, um, WBTO5 if you want to get that. Like I said before, I was going to go with a smaller battery, but we've modified the uh, battery box to fit this one, 230 amp hour, run the battery, run the air conditioner for that little bit longer, um, maybe run the coffee machine, whatever else we want to bring in this, in this, beautiful, <laughs> in this beautiful caravan we're building. Um, so there we go. That's the battery. WBTO5. Also, Easter coming up. Buy your bloody partner a present, yeah? Because nobody wants chocolate. They all want to have batteries. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> now I'm no battery nerd, so if you want to look up all the information about batteries, jump on their website. It's all on there, right? We will be doing a test run to see how long we can run the air conditioner before we completely kill it. Um, but I will be able to monitor it quite well because I do have a, a pretty good battery management system coming with a, a uh, much better uh, inverter than we used to have. We were running a King's inverter before. We're now going to be running a, a much better inverter, which I'll go over in the next episodes. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.